All right, Charles, as we approach the last major holiday of summer, the Drive Sober Get Pulled Over campaign begins nationwide, including in Wisconsin, where right after Labor Day, there's another step in the fight to strengthen OWI laws here. Take the keys away from friends and take cabs, um, do Uber, do Lyft, leave your car parked at a friend's house. You know, you can leave cars parked at the bar. It's a message we hear often. We want to prevent it from happening in the first place because it is 100% preventable. Preventable, yet still so prevalent. A friend of the family, she lost her daughter. It seems anywhere you go at any time in Wisconsin, you can meet someone who knows someone impacted by drunk driving. It's sad. Hundreds of law enforcement agencies throughout the state will increase patrols now through Labor Day, September 2nd. You can't catch everybody. You can't catch everybody. So, and I don't, I think people tend to take things for granted sometimes, like it's not going to happen to them. There appears to be a similar frustration when it comes to strengthening OWI laws. Ultimately, it doesn't matter what the law is. I mean, it all boils down to, you know, the individual and thinking before they act. Just two days after Labor Day, people are invited to speak their minds to state senators at a public safety committee hearing on several OWI bills, including making first time drunk driving a misdemeanor rather than a traffic ticket requiring anyone accused of their first OWI to personally appear in court and imposing a minimum of 18 months in jail for a fifth or sixth OWI. That committee will vote to kill the bills or send them to the Senate floor for review. Most have been heard in the past, but never made it to a vote. Only time they're going to do something about this when it happens to their family member. But if it don't happen to their family member, they're not really going to do nothing about it because they don't understand. Now that hearing in Madison on September 4th is open to everyone. You can also always contact your own state rep or senator and share your thoughts on these OWI bills and what you'd like to see happen. Shannon and Charles.